Hey, this is Gruri. I'm here at the Mile High Horror Film Festival with artist William Wyman. How are you, sir? I'm doing just fine. Nice, nice. Your work is amazing and I absolutely love it. Tell me about it. How, what's, your, what's your whole creative process here? Well, the first thing I do is a lot of colored pencil work. Mm -hmm. That's for one thing. I draw it with normal pencils and then color it all mm -hmm. and with pencils and blend it together. And the inspiration would be, of course, horror movies. Right. My favorite artists are Bernie Wrightson and Bill Stout. Ooh. And so, you know, I love that kind of horror comic stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And I guess the main thing is I try to color as if I was painting, I guess. Really? Yep. Right. Try to make How do you do that? Just layer uh, colors on top of the other and blend them together, to, you know, and just takes forever. And, you know, just try to make it look soft if yeah. I can, you yeah. know. Yep. Do you only work in pencils or do you work in other mediums? Acrylic paint, watercolors, and sometimes poster paints on wood. Okay. I have some boards too. And like uh, this piece here is actually a painting on wood that I did, and so is this one, but you know, prints of them. Nice. And uh, they're acrylics. I'm newer to painting than I am to drawing. Mm -hmm. So. You know. How long have you been drawing? I drew for years when I was young, and then my vision uh, declined. I've been visually impaired my whole life. And so when I was in my 20s, my vision got to where I was almost completely blind. Okay. So they gave me uh, cataract surgery to remove the cataracts. And so I asked the doctor, do you think I could try to draw? And he said, sure, and I hadn't drawn for like 15 years. And that was when I was 30 years old that I got the surgery, so it's about four years ago. Wow. So I've been doing colored pencils for three years mm -hmm. and painting for six months. It's amazing, and I mean the detail is incredible as Thank well. You. Thank you very much. So, I mean, are these all your favorite movies, or is some you haven't covered yet? Um, no, I don't think I've drawn every favorite movie. I have my portfolio with Freddy, and you know, my favorite. If somebody said what's your favorite movie, it'd be hard, but maybe Return of the Living Dead, possibly, yeah. which I drew that over there, you know, for them. That's awesome. Because of Bill Stout, you know, I love his fine art and his movie art mm -hmm. and all of it yeah and I didn't even discover Bernie Wrightson or Bill Stout until I was 30 years old when I was in it I had seen their artwork but I didn't know who they were right and I didn't know about inking things you know and stuff like to draw the pencil lines and then ink it all in and then color it and give it all a different style to, all to Bernie Wrights and you know That's taught awesome. me that and I just like I didn't want to copy him but just use a little bit of his style you know sure. and that was it yep. sure. So that was all art is based on sharing and yeah. grabbing a little bit from someone else, sure. Yep. So, so uh, what are you working on now? What's, what's coming up next? Um, I'm, I'm not sure because the last thing I finished was the They Live piece like two days before the con. So I don't know. Maybe I might take a little break and then do some landscapes. I do landscape paintings and stuff too. Okay. And then I'm thinking maybe Leatherface. I don't know. Some more movie icons so I'm ready for next year. You know? Sure. Yep. sure. So you're going to meet with a Rowdy Piper and show him the art? I'm going to try to. I think, you know, I mean, she's got his autograph. You know, she paid for the autograph. I don't know if I'll do that, but I at least want to shake his hand. Probably cry because I like wrestling so much and Rowdy so much yeah yeah oh yeah and it's a couple some people I can hold it together and then other celebrities I'm like oh you know it makes me cry you know sure. I met Kane Hodder last year here at the other building and I was fine face to face I was fine uh -huh. but when we got to the table I was like oh and it was just you know, there's no way I was like <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I totally understand man I totally understand yeah, so. so like um, you got any other plans for other cons coming up at all? Well this would be my first con that I've ever done because uh, you know I haven't been drawing for that long and I didn't didn't really think anyone would know or care you know too much and my friend was the one that my manager was the one that said these are pretty good and so I will be doing another con I just don't you know I don't have a bunch of like way to pay for the booth you know what I mean it's sure. a lot of money sure. so but my I definitely next year would like to do this one definitely sure. definitely well, yeah. I've heard a lot of things a lot of people stopping by and buying your stuff and giving you offers to fly to London and all this stuff <laughs> I asked the guys if I could be in the movies and they would kill me because I'd love to be an actor too you know I was like sure. I'll be a killer or the killed or whatever it's okay <laughs> Both ends of the spectrum I there think another one of my favorite movies is Simon Says with Crispin Glover Simon Sayles, I love that movie. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you very much. Right on. This is Groovy. I'm here with artist William Wyman here at Denver Mile High Horror Film Festival. Rock on. Bye bye. <laughs>